Hey, what's up everybody? It's George here and we're back with another video. Now today's video is video number four in the Goblin 500 electronic setup series. In video number three, we finished up with parameter G, which was setting the cyclic servo centering. We got that completed and we're ready to move on with parameter H. But before we do, let's take a quick look at my setup. Very basic. I have the manual open to the right page. I have a pen in case I need to take any notes. I have my trusty Spectrum DX8. And finally, the Goblin 500. So we're ready to continue on. Let's go ahead and put the camera on the tripod and continue on with the AR7200BX setup. Okay, we're ready to get on with the setup of the AR7200BX. I've already entered setup mode and we're on parameter G, which is where we left off. Let's go ahead and move on to the next parameter by pressing the setup button once. It's now indicating that we're in setup parameter H. Setup parameter H is a swash plate mixer. Now remember, you don't want to have any swash plate mixing set up in your radio. All of it is done inside the AR7200BX. Now the default is red solid or 120 degrees and that's exactly what the Goblin is. If you needed to change it, you would simply use the rudder stick and select the swash plate mixing that fits you. Once you have it set, we press the menu button one time to enter the next parameter. Now we're on parameter I, which is setting the swash plate servo directions. Basically, this is where we're going to correct anything that's wrong with the movement of the servos as a response to our sticks. There's really three choices, uh, and what it does is, is it does the servo reversings for you. Um, the first choice, purple solid, which is the default, is uh, normal on the aileron, normal on the elevator, and reversed on auxiliary one. Red solid is normal on the aileron, reverse on the elevator, and normal on auxiliary one. And blue solid is normal on the aileron, normal on the elevator, and normal on auxiliary one. You can see that they just cycle through the available combinations. So let's go ahead and take a look at the servo movement and see which one fits our needs. Okay, we're ready to move on with setting the swash plate servo directions. Now this is gonna take a combination of parameter I on the AR7200BX and possibly some reversing in your radio, it all depends. The instructions are kinda complex for this but I've come up with a very easy method of handling it. I've broken it down into three sections. The first section is to keep the swash moving level, and we do that with parameter I. I'm gonna go ahead and move my stick up and down, and here we can see that the servos are not all moving in the same direction. I'm gonna use my rudder stick, and I'm going to change it to the next parameter, and once again, I'm gonna try moving my rudder stick up and down, and here we see that it is moving in the right direction. So now we have parameter I set properly. The second thing I'd need to do is make sure that it is moving in the right direction in response to the stick movement. So when I move the stick up, I want to see the swash plate move up and it doesn't. That tells me I have to make a change in my radio. I'm going to go ahead and reverse the pitch channel. Now that I've reversed my pitch channel, I'll go ahead and move my stick again, and we can see that when I move my stick up, the swash plate moves up. When I move it down, it moves down. So that's correct. The last thing to adjust is the cyclic movement. The first thing I'm gonna try is moving my aileron to the left, and I wanna see the swash plate move to the left. And that is correct. The next thing I'm going to do is move my aileron to the right and I want to see the swash plate move to the right. And that is correct. The next thing I want to do is move my elevator up and I want to see the swash plate tilt toward the front of the helicopter. And that is reversed. 
So I'm gonna have to go in and I'm gonna have to reverse the elevator channel in my radio. Now, once again, I'll move my elevator up, and what I want to see is the swash plate tilt toward the front of the helicopter. And it does. When I move my elevator down, the swash plate should tilt toward the back of the helicopter. And it does. So it looks like all of our settings are correct. Let's look at it one more time, and let's see what happens. First, I'll move my pitch up, and we see that the swash plate does move up, and evenly. Next, I'll move my pitch down, and we can see that the swash plate moves down and does move evenly. Next, I'll move my elevator up, which will tilt toward the front, and it does. And I'll move my elevator back, and it will tilt toward the back, and it does. Finally, I'll move my aileron to the left, and the swash plate tilts to the left. And I'll move my aileron to the right, and the swash plate moves to the right. That pretty much concludes this parameter, and we can move on to the next parameter by pressing the setup button once to save these settings. Okay, the parameter has been saved, and we're ready to move on to parameter J, which is teaching the cyclic pitch geometry. To do this, we're going to need a pitch gauge, so let's go ahead and get that all set up. All right, this looks like a good place to break. We've got a lot done, and everything is really going great and according to plan. Look for build video number five, where we continue on with the setup of the AR7200BX. Before I wrap it up, I just wanted to make a comment, and that's about the way I edit these videos. Um, if you notice, I have pictures and pictures of different shots of the helicopter and my radio and different things. Well, I only have one camera. To do that, I'm shooting some of these sequences three and four times and then stitching them together and synchronizing them in the editing process. That being said, I know that the stick movements may not be perfect. Really, they're in there as a visual aid. I know that when I'm watching instructional videos, I like visual aids and even if it's not perfect, it does give you the general idea. So, thanks for watching and as always, happy flying friends.